spending every day three years to the thing. Sometimes you create something, you let it go, and after three years you look at it, or after three months you look at it. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Okay, next question is, why is photography important? The thing is, when you look at photography, every day, no matter what you use, it can be social media, it can be television, it can be the newspaper, it can be a lot of things. And when you see media, you see an image. And most of the time, they need images. Now, today, a lot of people can create an image, but most of the time, the picture of the image that people create, it doesn't tell a story. In order to keep people's attention, if you have image with a story, it can help a lot. Why is that you keep people's attention on the image or the story? Or you draw their attention. Example, when you look at YouTube, you see um, thumbnails. If the thumbnail is interesting, you will press on it. If the title is interesting, you will press on it. That's why YouTube focuses on all those things. For me, I don't really care. Sometimes I make a good thumbnail, sometimes not. Sometimes I experiment. And you see already, I like experimenting. So sometimes I make a crappy thumbnail to see how what you do. And sometimes I just make a good one and see what you do. For me, I will make the video. And for me, it's important. Why did you click it and how far did you go? And based on that, I will see what I'm going to change or not. Maybe I will change nothing. Maybe I will change a lot. So everywhere you see, you will see that you have an image, a photo, doesn't matter how you call it. You have them. And most of the time, when people see a lot of text, let's say a test, this is boring. But if they see a text with picture, it can it can appeal, it can be appealing. You understand what I mean? So that's one of the reasons why image is important. So we have images important because it can help, it can attract people to press on it or look into what you have to say but an image can also tell a story there's two things yeah so if you're a photographer and uh, you're thinking about okay um how can i use image or business i will talk about this in another video how we can use photography as a hobby and still use the thing that you earn through photography to help your business out so what i'm saying is let's say you have a hobby of creating pictures you can sell them online okay? and this is something you do as a hobby yeah? and in your real life you you work or you have a company and this is generating money so you can put it in there it's not like you set this up it will work the day after no 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 you need to build towards it yeah so if you have let's say 100 picture it's not going to earn one a lot but if you have 2000 or 2k or 10k it can only like 200 dollars per month or 500 it depends what kind of pictures you have some people they only have 1k or 3k but they earn like uh, a lot of money online and this is besides the regular work. So people call it passive incomes, all the stuff. And online you see on YouTube that there are a lot of videos about those things. And people tell you the best way. I'm going to tell you honest. There is no best way. There is no way where people say, okay, if you take a picture of this, you put it online, you get money for it. it doesn't work like that. Why is that? If there is a short way, they will do it themselves. They will not share it to you. Why should they share it with you? Because it's money for them. So you see all this marketing out there, passive incomes, all the story. Just listen closely. You will see that they always say the same thing. They promise an ideal situation. Let's say passive income. Okay? And they tell you who they are to create credibility. Seriously, they have an, um, a script for this. And when you see the script, you'll be like, oh, I see, I see. Hey, that's why they say this. At the beginning, they create an uh, image where you want to be. They tell you who you are. 
keep telling you what they do most of them is fake some of them can be real but uh, it's, uh, most of the time it's fake and then at the end they try to sell you a server so they're gonna be mentor you and everybody is saying you need to mentor um, let me tell you one thing yes mentor can be handy sometimes but wouldn't it be fun if you experiment yourself experiment you learn from it and yes someone make a, a mistake in the past that doesn't mean that mistake is a mistake for you let's say i make a mistake in the past and someone is trying to make the same mistake i'm gonna be like hey did happen to me in the past maybe it can happen to you maybe not okay. it's up to you if you're going to do it or not so a mistake in the past your mistake in the past is it has a different circumstances than someone's mistakes right now if it's the same you understand what I mean? The time is already not the same. That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of people, you see them online, even if you're on Clubhouse, you see them marketing like, hey, you need to have a mentor and all the stuff. I'd be like, yeah, so? Why should you need to have a mentor? Hey, mentor can tell you, but uh, you need to pay him for that time. I can understand that. But what do you get out of it? They cannot guarantee that you're going to get the money. So, in my opinion... The best thing is to experiment. See what works and what doesn't work. And if you're asking yourself, when does it when do you know if it's working or not? It's up to you. If you, let's say, if you create something, if it doesn't work for three years, three years is really long, figure out what you're doing wrong. Yeah? Um, if you, but the thing is, not like you're, um, you're spending every day three years to the thing sometimes you create something you let it go and after three years you look at it or after three months you look at it you understand and the thing is the more things you create the more things you can just let it go and see what happens and what works let's say one blow up you know okay i can focus on this let's say two blow ups you can focus also on that yeah so if you look at why is photography important, you can create a lot of pictures from di different circumstances. Good quality, whatever, upload them online. Keep it, don't do anything, focus on other things. You keep, you, you start the first month with um, 100 or 400. After 10 months, you have 1K. Or you can start more, you can do more, it doesn't matter. You can go, um, you can create more one of those pictures will blow up yeah and when it blow up it's not only one two three it can help you a lot so why i'm saying this is because there are a lot of pictures online but some people are looking for specific things because most things that are online people copy what other people do they look at other people what is what is successful they copy it and then you have a group of people that are doing the same does it work no so what i'm saying is you have people that focus on seo okay that's smart you focus on seo based on that you can get sales but sometimes you have some agency of some people they look for special thing and they're not going to type in google special thing no hey so you know your city you know your place try to look at those things create a picture of it upload them and there is an agency uh, if you want to know an agency let me know on uh on the last center i can i will I'll hook you up with an agency in the in doing that agency you can start it out you can start from scratch and they will help you build it up when you build it up it's really good because at the beginning you're putting a lot of times in understanding how things works but later if you're on a weekend you go out or you go on vacation you take some pictures come home edit them and upload them and boom, you're finished and after two or three months you get money for it it's not like you don't get anything for it i can guarantee you, you can get some money for it yeah so i'm not saying how how much but think about it right if i have 10,000 k pictures is it would it be weird that i do not earn anything about that i think you will earn something about it so think about those things yeah and you don't have to have a good camera
to earn money from it. So if you look at the question, why is photography is important? Everywhere you see photography and you have people that are looking for special things. And sometimes your location can provide something special that you don't know anything about that. If you are, let's say, if you are in, um, if you are in a city that's really well known, there are certain parts in the city that other people don't know. And for you, it's normal, but for other people, it can be special. Think about those things. So if you're interested in uh, more about this, what you can do is just go to the law center. In the law center, I will try to answer your question if you have them. And if you want to see um, our royalty free pictures, you can buy them here. The license is um, clear and we'll try to upgrade our portfolio. And if you found this information useful, what you can do is you can buy me coffee. So you can press here on this link. And when you go here, you will find the page. You can buy me one, three or five coffee. And you can say something nice. Like, thank you. Thank you for the information. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be